Alright guys, you see my hair? Yup, it's been one of those weeks. Today's outfit is actually my first day of changing clothes in I think six or seven days because I don't know where anything is at, but we still have been able to make a lot of progress. So I want to update you guys on what we've done so far. So first of all, Marber's working on our new iPhones that were super passed overdue and we finally got them but but bam the pool table's here dun, 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 dun. but so far it's used more as a like transitioning station where or holding station where everything that comes in before we know where to put it we put it there first but look at what mom bear and grandma has done so far and it is sick and I put liners see that liners on everything that's the woman's touch right there. Oh yeah, ooh, so soft. That's the woman's touch. Cause you know us dumbass dudes, we probably just immediately start putting stuff in there, right? And then that's why things don't last that long. Have you noticed that when girls use stuff, lasts forever? So we're putting our cups down here. It's not vertically challenged. And before when it's up here, you know have a lot of space. I would always go up my brick and get it for me. Put his stuff down here now, that way everyone can get their own stuff, me and Taika included. And look at that, liners, baby. Oh, I forgot to show you guys, but since there's gonna be so much weight on this drawer, I did the guy thing, and I bought like this plywood. You can see right here, actually. I bought this plywood down here to go under, so it has extra support, so all of the weight is distributed. So this is what we got going on in here. Put that also in here, so that way it can hold all this heavy weight while not um, bowing out or bending over time. So that's what we got so far. And here's the update on the garage. Something super exciting that's happening to the garage today is we are getting the Barbell Brigade decal on the wall. So you guys saw the other day when we uh, got it painted, right? Well, now it's nice and dry. Looks super sick, look at that. Damn, look at that black. Ooh, look at those crisp lines. Beautiful, bam! All white over here, nice and crisp. Oh, let me show you the uh, man corner and what that looks like. So, I have been able to get my workbench set up in here. I measured everything perfectly. And that was one of the tough parts of organizing the garage. Like I had so much stuff, but because everything is randomly put in boxes, I couldn't put things away in an orderly fashion. Like I would open one box and I'd have a ton of stuff. Like, like I would have two helmets packed with charcoal. So if I open that box, then that means things just get in the way and I can't really put it away. So I used a little permanent marker and I marked on the floor where I wanted things to be. So then I know that like once it comes out, I know what's gonna go. They're kind of like Tetris. So I Tetris this motherfucker in here. You see this? But bam, perfectly fit. I measured this in here. Started to put some of the super gun storage stuff that I'll never touch away over there, like gun cases and paper targets. I also did the same treatment here. Thick piece of wood, because that metal will bend to put all the round in here. So far it's holding up pretty good. Got my toolbox that I put in here. Over here I had a little bit of space and I was looking for like a little like like 12 inch or 18 inch um, shelf. Couldn't find any. I don't know why they don't make like these type of boltless steel shelves in a 12 or 18 in person. I'm sure I could have found something online but I couldn't find it in person. I went to two Home Depots. So I saw these milk crates and I'm like, hey, that's kind of cool. So I want these little like one foot by one foot milk crates and I can just put whatever I need in there. And what's cool is I can just pack and go. So like let's say, in here I have like hearing protection, gloves, like my shooting glasses, or if I just put stuff in here, and then I can just take it, put the back of my truck, bam, ready to rock and roll. So I got that done, cleared up all the space here so that we can put the decal, as well as cleared up way more space here so we can get the mirrors installed tomorrow. And after that, all I have to do is clear up the rest of it and then go get some horse mats, put it on the ground, because that's like a cost efficient way to do gym flooring. Technically, like pretty much all CrossFit gyms, Barber Brigade included, use horse mats for the floor. And then that whole area is gonna be done. And then it's just the equipment in a week or two and you guys will see the finalized 
home gym, like Barbell Brigade, what I'm going to call 1.5, uh, and the, on the Barbell Brigade channel, because that's when we're doing like the full in-depth gym explanations. But otherwise, uh, other than that, the garage looks like this. I feel like from the other video, it probably has a huge difference, maybe not. I don't know. I'm proud of myself. Meanwhile, this little monkey dude. So upstairs, what are we working with? I don't even know. To be honest, I haven't even vlogged in a few days because it's just been so nuts. We're just trying to put stuff away. So we do have an operable bed. And of course, my side, the guy's side, is all fucked up. I don't even know how that happens, but I could have sworn I tucked it underneath there. But I don't know. Over here, remember all those boxes? Well, that's out of the way, which is kind of cool. So we finally have a bathroom that we can like w wash our face and brush our teeth out of. It's operable, 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 operable or operable. Now I just feel like I'm speaking Korean, operable. Anyways, this is supposed to be our home office setup and there's a random mask on the floor. Disgusting, yes I know. But I did get a little bit of work done today where I worked out of this desk, don't have my computer screens or anything like that, but this is where we're supposed to work. His and hers, cutie little desks. So I worked out here today, which is pretty cool. Um, so things are slowly coming together. My closet. But I didn't realize how many clothes I had. Cause I always feel like I never have any clothes. But I'm like, dang, this is actually a lot of clothes. And so I still gotta take clothes out of the boxes, put in here. Which is why, and since I just did this yesterday, this is why I haven't, I've been wearing the same clothes this whole time. Ma Bear's way better. Look at hers. Damn, she already looks like she's been living here. She already been. Look at that. Damn, I got her shoes, dude. Look at that. On the floor. Wow. And here's my favorite part of the house. The beautiful view downstairs. Look at that. I feel like we're one as family. Two stories, but one as family. Mobber's over there working on fixing the phones. Grandma's still, once again, trying to hide from camera. And Taika sleeping like a beautiful young baby. Hey, let's go. Let's go, Mowgli. All right, so the decal is done. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Papa, go out first. Papa gotta go out first. Wait, wait, Papa, so you come with me. Wait a second. Come with me, hold on. Okay. Okay. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Go, Barbara Brigade 2.0. There you go. Whoa, that is so cool. I fucking love her logo. I love it so much. We did such a good job. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Can't wait to train. <laughs> and I can't wait to train at home. She's gonna be so sick. I don't even do any of this stuff. Everybody. Bam! Da 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 da. Bam! Bam! Da 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 da. Yeah, I think I might even uh, paint that black. I might pull off the plug plate thing and then paint it black. Do they have any more paint? The black paint, yeah. We do. Yeah. Mom, but Mom, looks good, huh? Mom, and then we just get mirrors tomorrow. I love, I love her branding. We get Same. mirrors yeah, tomorrow. Mom, and then look at me. Look at me. Custom, custom letters. You will not find. It's not a font. It's not a font. You cannot download this. If we see anyone ever using this, it's because you stole it from us. Because this is ours. Just one of one, baby. Watch. It's like our designer like got it from someone else. But yes, should be one of one. Oh, you're measuring it? Lucky, you're gonna cut yourself. You're gonna cut yourself. Be careful, okay? I just heard it. Oh. 
Love it. All right, food just came. I am starving. And what's cool, whoa, whoa, what's the woohoo? What's the woohoo? Let me see, let me see. Which one's this one? Oh, no. Ooh, plantains. Yep, steak. Steak, rice. Definitely not gonna eat the fries. Did not know it came with the egg, but that is dope. One thing I've been loving about Vegas is the food choices. There's everything. Like when, when we're living back in LA, like if you wanna get a diverse. In LA, when we were living in. Glendora. That's the But even when you live in LA, which we've lived in downtown, it's not that diverse of food. Like you have to go to different areas to get the different food. But here, uh, we're, we're just like in the boonies, like in the suburbs, and I can get. Peruvian, I can get Brazilian, I can get Asian, Vietnamese, Korean, Japanese, American diner, I can get everything, which is super cool. So I've been loving the food choices so far. I even saw Malaysian, and I freaking love Malaysian food. It's one of my top three, but it's so hard to find good Malaysian food. I've been to Malaysia, and it come, it, I think it's just because it's so complex. It's literally Chinese food and Indian food had a baby. Oh my God, that's the most complicated shit ever. I know, and it's really hard. And those are two cuisines that are already complicated on its own. Um, but Malaysian food is so freaking bomb, and I saw one, so I actually can't wait to try that one, probably in person. Oh, are those the fat-free fries I've been talking about? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, that crispy skin on the chicken. Fine, eat. Damn. Can I go come here? So we already have some super cool neighbors, and I'm just saying this because anyone that gives me any food is cool with me, but uh. We just moved in and our neighbor across the street knows that. And they got us banana bread from their favorite restaurant. And it's really, really good. So I've been trying it. And I believe it's from this restaurant called Eggs Work. Um, Egg Works. And they specialize in breakfast and brunch. And this banana bread, let me tell you, it's delicious. It's probably second to grandma's, uh, grandma's banana bread, but for store-bought, it's really, really good. And that's how I'm gonna end the night. I'm gonna eat a little bit of this banana bread. Sit down with my familia right there. We just went out on a walk in the beautiful darkness that's outside. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's exciting because uh, we're getting our mirrors installed. And that's the last thing that we need before the flooring and then the actual gym equipment. And then the garage is pretty much done. Good night, everyone.